name is Emery Rogers. I'm an attorney here at Butler Con, and today I want to talk to you about the most common question I get when a new client comes to us following a car crash. And that question is, how do I get the medical treatment that I need? You know, after a car crash, it's a very confusing time. There's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of unknowns, and getting that long-term care isn't the first thing that's on your mind. You know, after a crash, when you go to the emergency room with an ambulance visit, or you go to uh, urgent care, you know, the, the, you get that immediate triage that you need, but then in the days, weeks, months following the crash, there's all sorts of other follow-up care that you're going to need, and it can be difficult to navigate. So today I want to talk to you about the two routes that you can go to get that additional care you need. The first route is through your health insurance. If you have health insurance, you just book an appointment and do any other follow-up care like you, that you need, just like you would for any other doctor. Um, it can be a little bit difficult sometimes because, you know, the specialist who you need to see might not be in your area or they're only available six months from now or there can be a whole host of other problems. But really, it's pretty straightforward just like any other, any other provider that you need to see. Now, with car crashes, it can be a little tricky as well because the insurance company might be entitled to what's called subrogation. Now, subrogation is just a way of saying reimbursement. Um, the way the insurance company looks at it is they say, hey, wait a second. This guy who hit you, the at-fault driver, they're the ones who need to pay for your, your health care, not us, it's that guy's fault. And so subrogation is a way of saying, uh, you need to reimburse us for what we paid, and that guy needs to pay for it. But again, it can be a little tricky, because depending on the plan language and how it's written out, depending on whether it's governed by state law or federal law, they might not be entitled to that reimbursement, that subrogation. So giving an attorney a call, we can help walk you through it and really understand the process and, and figure out what's owed and what's not owed. Now the second route you can go is uh, you treat under what's called a letter of protection. Now if your health insurance is just straight garbage, you don't like the doctors in your network, uh, you, know, you can't be seen for a while, your deductibles are super high, there's a whole host of reasons of why you might not want to use your own health insurance. And if you don't want to use your own health insurance or you don't have health insurance, you can treat under what's called a letter of protection. Now, a letter of protection is just a fancy IOU that you sign with the doctor. What you do is you go to the doctor's office and you say, hey doc, I can't pay for all this treatment I need right now. I, you know, I can't pay for this out of pocket, it's too expensive. But what I will do is I'll pay you with any proceeds that I get from either my settlement after my car crash or from the jury verdict that I get following my car crash. And that way you can still see the same doctors, you still get all the same treatment, but instead of paying for it out of pocket up front, you push it all back to the end and you pay for it out of the settlement that you get. Now, this is an easy way to go, and a lot of clients like to use this um, it could, because it delays uh, the medical providers from sending you to collections. They can't send you to collections while you're working under a letter of protection. So those are the two routes you can go. As an attorney, it doesn't matter to me which route you go. What matters most for your own physical health and for the health of your case is that you get the treatment that you need. Either way, it doesn't matter as long as you get the care that you need. That's the most important thing. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us. I know after a car crash can be very confusing, very difficult times, but give us a call. We'd be happy to walk you through it. Again, my name is Emory Rogers, attorney here at Butler Con. Thanks.